guys, welcome to Social Veil. We are going to dive into the world of social media, which is loaded with every kind of wit and nastiness that you can imagine. And I've got my trusty sidekick with me here, Honey Shmoney. And yeah, let's just start off. Um, so this is a chat between two people, and one person is saying, Guy, how far? I beg, if you send me 20K, are you there? Hello? And then the reply is, if not you, will you be there? Will you be on board? Will you be available? I like how people are able to say what they really want to say these days. These because days. I think before, people were always just being diplomatic, yep. or that let me hurt this person. Yep. But I think that it has gotten to that point that, oh, um, please don't kill me. You don't read. If, you, will, you, will you be there? Will you be there? Me, I'll not be there because I'm <laughs> everywhere. I choke. <laughs> he choke. All right, so um, this is another one. Society is saying, check on your friends, which isn't a bad thing. And on the friend status, it's saying, if it's not about money, don't text me. And they say, you see? You see? You could have been on your own, relaxing, chilling. You now go and check on, you now go and collect, dealing. Please, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> Thank you very much and God bless. <laughs> Okay, so here, uh, this sweet-looking gentleman. Honeypot, do you like this one? Go away. Yeah. Is a single father of 12 mm -hmm. looking for a nice woman to come and share my world. A canon. And, and as Cash App Records said, him and his disciples can stay where they are. Wow, Father Abraham. Had many sons, but single father of 12. Yeah, because, Why? Uh, wow, there will be no discrimination and there will be no slander of single uh, men of kids, 12 of kids right here because Wait, of how many the other day, i saw it on instagram somebody was complaining about how hmm. single mothers are having issues finding somebody to marry them eventually because once they hear that you have and there were lots of people in the comment section oh. they were like no see let me tell you this is not even true and hmm. i think that it is not true because this life narrates and beans because this person where don't bump picking one person would not have given given birth and will not say and will still remain single and this person will still find somebody's corner. Ah. So Nara is amazing, I think. Anyway, uh, the him and his twelve disciples can stay with there. <laughs> <laughs> that is the moral of the story. All right, fine wine here saying travel in your twenties and they say twenties tifetan. I don't pass Ilorin. Okay. I'll be a no pass so, I really want to say you know? that. I really want to say that people should stop putting themselves under any... Any pressure. pressure any sort yes. of pressure. Because you see, the other day too, j -Paul and I were taking social view and somebody was like, ah, 30, 30 is the age where you should have achieved everything. And now so, that they have shifted it to 35. 35. Like, <laughs> that's most, 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 they will shift it to 40. So I just really want to quickly, uh, you know, encourage somebody yeah. this morning. I know somebody on YouTube who actually got married. I think she got married at the age of 40. 40 she met that person at 39. I think they got married at 40. They didn't have children oh, until it was, she was 49 or thereabouts. Oh, wow. Or thereabouts. And then because she was doing IVF, she took people along, you know, with the journey on the wow. journey that she was on. And then she, she now has a child. Now she is 54. And what am I saying? I, and she says that. So when she looks back, she feels like, in her 20s, in her 30s, she would not just have been responsible. Yeah. So people mature differently. differently. So I don't think that people's journeys are different. So please, cut yourself. Don't stress your don't, don't stress yourself, okay? okay? I don't even know why I went into all the... Preach, Pastor Honeypot! And all that, but then... We... Don't no worry, we'll, we'll come to that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's take this last one. It said, two people where you know fifth advice for life. Woman where they in love, man where get money. <laughs> Actually, I think... Women and men, where they in love. Love. Because that one, yes. where get money, no. Still leave that, and leave that one out of it. Yeah. But you see, woman, where they in love. love. Anybody where they in love, there is no how. Now, let me cite an example for you. Have you been through stuff before? Then you see maybe a younger person mm -hmm. on your streets or maybe even your sister and you're trying to tell them that, ah, you, because you can't see where the you relationship is. is going. But guess but what? Yeah. If they don't experience it, they will, not hear you. they will even go back to tell that their partner that Can see you what this, this one Auntie to... Agbaya is saying. Let them experience it. Hmm. Let them serve them breakfast, okay? Mm -hmm. Without the breakfast, they will not, their body will not reach ground. So, you know, hmm. so, mm, uh, um, let us just go on that note. That's why they're not the <laughs> person. It's the moral of the story. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it is a wrap on Social View.